Hey guys, I am sitting here at my desk. I just painted a bunch of numbers for my Valentine countdown. I painted a bunch, um, half of them red, half of them pink, and then I'm gonna go back when they completely dry and put some white dots on some of them and stripes on others and just leave some solid. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm gonna do that. But I got a lot of stuff the last couple of days, so I thought I would show what I got. Um, I got some mail, and I got some stuff from Joann's, and I got some stuff from my thrift store. And I just thought I would show it to you guys. First, the numbers that I got for my um, Valentine's Day countdown. They didn't have any at my local Dollar Tree, so I went to Hobby Lobby. And uh, they had these little sets that come with 25. And uh, this is the packaging of it. It came, you know, attached. <laughs> but that's the uh, packaging. I have no idea what, what that noise was. <laughs> Is that my phone? Oh yeah. <laughs> but um, that was it. They were two dollars each, and they have four zeros, four ones, and two of everything else. So I had to get two of these to have enough ones to um, make one through fourteen. So I do have quite a bit left, but I'll just save those for another craft project. I'm sure I can use them up eventually. So I got them all right here. They're pretty much dry. Maybe a little wet. I just wanted to get that paper out of my way. I got some paint on my finger. That's alright. Alright, so I got those at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to show you what I picked up at the thrift store real quick. And then Joann's. And then I got some Happy Mail. So what I got at the thrift store was, I always look at their fabric because there's almost always some there. So I found this really cute. This is a yard of mushroom fabric. It's got um, just little mushrooms. So that's a yard. I'll probably use that as a liner eventually. And then I got this. It's a big old... Ugh. I'm losing stuff. It's time falling. This is three yards of really thick light blue material. I'm not sure what this is called. And no, it's some kind of like, it's almost blue jean. <laughs> it's close to blue jean. And I'm planning to use that for liners for uh, project bags. And this was actually only $3 for three yards of this. Um, because it was, it was $6, but it was half off because it was orange tag. And then also grabbed they had this there, which is batting, and it's 100% cotton. So this would be good for the microwave type, uh, you know, cozies and stuff. And it has a sticker on it from Hobby Lobby. It was six dollars, but at the thrift store it was three dollars, so it was half off. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's never been opened before, so that's cool. I wish I'd found that in December or whenever, because I bought a whole bag of that. But, oh, and I have two uh, pieces of it. And then I also found quilters batting big old roll that's not been opened um let's see here it's cotton and polyester blend and i thought this would be good for because i got some halloween um like they're yards that you cut out kind of like that christmas book i made last year but it's not a book it's like decorations for your house i thought i could use this for that and then if i come across any other um panels like that to make i'll have it because i have a little bit of this left over from the christmas book and this is thicker so um i thought this would be good for it I'm trying to see what size it is. Oh, it's 72 inches by 90 inches. And it's the medium size. But, um, these are usually pretty expensive in Hobby Lobby. It doesn't have the sticker on there. But it was only, it was $7 at their store. But they're normally, like, in the teens or sometimes 20s at my Hobby Lobby. So, uh, I'm going to grab that. I think that's everything at their store. Other than, I got some books. Me and Jesse got some books. And then I went to Joann's. Uh, yesterday because I had a $10 reward that I wanted to use before it expired and um, so what I used it on so I bought yarn but technically I didn't buy yarn because I didn't spend any money on it so what I got with it is they had their Red Heart Super Savers on sale for $2.99 each <laughs> I just got to sell but $2.99 each um, so I got four of them so I just got all spring green I love this is one of my favorite Red Heart colors uh, if you've been watching me for a while you know that <laughs> But um, I'm always running low on it, so I went ahead and grabbed four of the regular size balls of it. And I also got a drink, too. Because, uh, you know, these were, what were these? Three, six, nine. This is 12. And then I got a drink also, because this was my personal purchase. And it came with um, taxes and all that. It came, the whole total came to $3. Uh, so the, most of that was the drink that I bought and taxes. But then I used another, you know, a, a different transaction. So I could use the 20% off total purchase on fabric for the Etsy shop and I'll go through that real quick but these won't be in the shop for a while because I'm not going to like pressure myself to make them 
quickly. <laughs> I'm just going to work on them here and there. But I did get two yards of interfacing for the zipper pouches. I also, oh wait, this is thrift store. I forgot to show you this. Let me finish Joanna's and I'll go back. I got this cat print. Super cute. And I got this. This is succulents and cactus. It says cacti. Super cute. Cute, cute, cute. And these are, I thought these were really pretty seashells. Oh, it's a wrinkled part. Let me show you a non wrinkled part. <laughs> And oh dang it, this was thrift store too. All right, let me. I have these not organized. <laughs> and then I got chickens. I thought these chickens were so cute. And then I got cows. <laughs> I've been seeing this print a lot, and I wanted to get it, and I haven't until now. But it's so cute. And then I did get some more of the Friends print because I had someone ask for uh, it again. And then I grabbed a Snoopy print. I always grab Snoopy too. And this is a cute. It's Valentine's themed, but it's also just love, so it could be any time. And then I got the last of this. This is a yard and three fourths, because it was the you know that's all that was left on the bolt. And it's uh, Jack and Sally. It was really pretty flowers. I thought that was real pretty. These are thrift store ones right here. I forgot to show them. They were mixed in with the other ones. I got this actually a few weeks ago. I think I showed this on No Kitchen Name. But this is two yards of sunflower print. I just pulled it out of my stash because I'm planning on trying to use it up soon. And then I got this. This is two yards of just this really pretty green, um, mar marbly looking. It's called Stonehenge Meadow is the uh, the top and the colorway. Let's see here. It's from Northcott.com. It's really pretty. I'd love to have a bunch of this in different colors to use as liners. I might have to look that up and see how expensive it is. And I got this at the thrift store too. I forgot to show this. But this is really cute. I saw the little houses and thought it was cute. But it's actually coffee. It's got different coffee um, stuff on it. Little coffee houses. And then on the words it says um, cappuccino, chocolate, espresso, almond, latte, jet tea, Irish cream. Stuff like that. So it's like coffee themed. It's really cute. I thought that uh, a lot of you guys would like that because a lot of people like coffee and there's actually two yards of that so there will be four bags of that eventually and then I was going to get rotor blades at Joann's but they didn't have any in the size I needed so I had to pick these ones up at Walmart just a blade for my rotor cutter and I think that's all the stuff I purchased yes <laughs> other than like books I did buy some books and Jesse picked out a couple of books I'm going to try to move this paint stuff over here out of my way Alright, so I did get Happy Mail. My first piece of Happy Mail is actually a card that I got a couple days ago. I accidentally, accidentally left it in the car. <laughs> but it is from Summer, who lives in Kentucky. And she's decorated the card really prettily with um, stickers. And it's a Valentine's Day card, which is really cool. So here it is. You got puppies on it. <laughs> And so she wrote me a note, and there's stickers all on the inside, too. Whoop, I just threw it down. She wrote me a letter, and she also sent uh, some stickers for Bubby, Jesse, Paw Patrol. And I guess these are supposed to be for him, too, but I'm keeping these ones. <laughs> I'm going to be using these ones. But uh, that's okay. He won't mind. He's got a ton of stickers. But I love that. That was my first Valentine's Day card this year. I think I got a couple last year. And I got one for sure. Can I shirt still hanging over there? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> But, uh, actually, there's two of them. But, um, so that's my first Valentine's Day card. And, actually, I was planning on hosting a Valentine's Day card swap on No Kitchen and Crochet. But I just haven't had time to put it together, and now it's too late <laughs> in the month to uh, worry about it. So, I'm just going to have to not do that. Maybe I'll do something for Easter or something. I'm not sure. We shall see. But, uh, probably not right now because uh, I'm just busy with the Etsy store and the YouTube stuff and plus um, all my health stuff that I'm working on. It's just I have a lot to do now and I don't have the extra time to work on random things, if that makes sense. But then today I got um, a package from Cindy at Cindy Hearts Crochet. She did a thing in October last year to where if ever anyone who made the Rosie uh, wrap by Randy, <laughs> Rosie wrap by Randy, um, 
and took a picture of them wearing it and put it on her Facebook page. They all got entered into a giveaway and she drew a few people to win the, like, the main giveaway. But then everybody who didn't win the main giveaway, she still said that she was going to send a little something to. So this is my little something. And it came wrapped up big time. I had the package, but it's down on the floor. I wanted it. But she had it wrapped up with tape, and it was so funny watching Devin open it. I was driving, so he was opening it in the passenger seat, and it was just funny. But she sent me this really cute um, notepad. It's got a llama and a Christmas wreath. She did say it was Christmas. A lot of the stuff that she was sending out would be Christmassy because she bought. She intended to do it before Christmas, but you know, life gets you know in the way. So really cute, and I love these. You can never have too many notepads. She sent some crowns for Jesse. She also sent a bundle of pencils and two erasers. Really cute pencils. They look like confetti. And she sent me a box of tissues, which she said she had a bunch of these and was going to send them to people. But these are handy. You can never have, you know, I'll probably keep this in here on my desk. Jesse will probably steal it. He loves tissues. But I'm going to try to keep him from doing it. And then what she sent me, she had two options. I can't remember what the other one was. It was something and then the amigurumi yarn and um, she asked me which ones I would want and I said the amigurumi yarn because I've never tried it so it's the little amigurumi cakes and there's there's two of them of the same one it's the cactus so this yarn is enough to make both of these little cactuses cacti <laughs> um, with this, so I can make four little cacti which I will do I've never uh, I've seen this before but I've never bought it it's really small it's a size of one what size hook do you gotta use a B. I don't even know if I have a B hook. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a B hook to uh, make these. But I'm definitely going to try it out. Because I've never tried this kind and it looks cool. Worst case scenario, if I don't like making the little amigurumi, I can just make something else with it because it's pretty colors. It's kind of watermelony. And there's two of them. And they each have quite a bit of yardage. Let me look. Uh, 239 yards each. So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to try to make the cactus. And then if I don't like using that tiny hook, I will figure out something else because this is basically fingering a super fine one so uh, you can make anything you know that you make with fingering weight with this that's cool okay I got texted by Devin I had to answer him <laughs> he just left for work he had to go by my mom's to drop off something and he was letting me know that he did that so that's all the happy mail I got this week uh, so far and all the stuff I bought <laughs> I shouldn't buy anything else and I don't feel bad about getting that yarn because I didn't technically pay for it I used my Joann's reward, which I didn't even know I got. <laughs> I mean, like, I got it, and I didn't know that I was going to get it. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so, uh, that's cool. And I needed more spring green, because I'm pretty sure I don't have any more. Uh, other than, like, a little scrap ball. So, that's good. Now, I got uh, four balls of that. I got a bunch of fabric I got to start cutting. And I got a bunch in my stash that I'm going to look to try to find liners. That's usually what I do. I try to use up as much for my stash as I can, because... I have a lot of fabric because I was lucky enough to get gifted a lot by a lot of uh, viewers and also I picked it up from thrift stores and my mom gave me a whole bunch last year. I went through almost all that my mom gave me, the majority of it, but there's still some in there. So I'm trying to use that up and empty out that shelf a little bit because I got one of those three drawer plastic things that the drawers are like that big <laughs> full of uh, yarn, or not yarn, fabric. One, uh, two of them is big pieces of fabric. And one of them is all of my little scrap pieces that I'm saving to make crab bags and stuff like that with whenever I get around to it. And I want to make some more crab bags. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, I got a bunch of the fixtures still. I just have to, you know, get the interfacing and cut the fabric and interfacing all that stuff. And I just haven't done it. But now that Devin is gone and I'm done showing you guys this stuff, I'm going to put it away where it goes. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in there and I think I'm going to crochet for a little while. I haven't got to crochet much. We were gone all day yesterday. And, um... I just want to sit down and maybe find something to watch on YouTube and crochet. 